Well, don't I have an exciting video for you guys. Now, on one side of my face, I have set my makeup using a very high-end, luxurious, expensive setting powder valued at 80 Australian dollars. And on the other side of my face, I have set my makeup using a very affordable drugstore setting powder that is roughly valued at 14 Australian dollars. And I've been looking at the mirror for a good 10 minutes trying to pick them apart. And honestly, to me, they look identical. Hey guys, I'm Ruby and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now in today's video, I wanted to share with you a dupe that I have discovered for one of my favorite holy grail luxurious setting powders. Now the powder that I'm talking about is the Chanel Universal Libre in the shade number three. I have used this over and over and over again in my tutorials. You guys know just how much I love it and how loyal I am to this powder, but I have found a dupe and it is so affordable. It is very easily accessible, except if you're here in Australia because it's not available and I don't know if it's going to be made available soon. The way that I got this powder was one of my subscribers told me about it and we often talk on Instagram and also in the comments section of my videos. And she was like, Ruby, you have to try this powder. It's amazing. Let me send it to you and it will change your life. And it literally has, and I cannot thank you enough. I am so thankful. Thank you so much. Um, but without further ado, I am finally going to reveal the powder that I'm talking about. You've probably guessed it by now. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Now, even just like seeing the powders side by side in the packaging, they look pretty similar because they're tinted loose powders. So for foundation today, I'm just using my Laneige cushion. I made a whole video dedicated to my favorite cushion compact foundations. I will list it in an iCard up above, but I've just literally been using cushion compacts to pop on my makeup because I love the way that they look on the skin. They're very lightweight, they're very skin-like and they just work really, really well. I feel like a lot of people overlook this category of foundations, but they're just beautiful to work with, to be honest, especially if you are looking for a foundation that you can use on the go or something lightweight that you can use on a daily basis. So I'm literally just going to sponge that in really quickly. I'm just using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. I've actually got a whole video dedicated to all of my favorite drugstore concealers, which I'll link in an iCard up above and also down below in the description box. But I'm literally just gonna press that in with the same Morphe sponge, like so. We're just gonna bounce that into the skin. So now my skin is literally ready for powder and it's what I pretty much do on a daily basis to get ready. It's very simple. I don't have many steps in my daily makeup routine. So I like to take like a flat brush Kind of like this. I don't like to use brushes that are short and kind of flare out like this for my powder. I tend to go for something that has a flat side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into the Fit Me powder first. I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes like so. I just love how smoothing this powder is. Can you see how it's just smoothed away in my under eyes? And then now I'm just gonna go over my smile lines and it just flattens and smooths everything out. Pop some underneath my cheekbone because I'm going to be using a powdered bronzer over top and I don't want um, the bronzer to cling to my foundation. Just a tiny bit, whatever's left on the brush, just on my forehead right here. That feels so smooth and you can just see compared to the other side without any powder, just how airbrushed and polished and blurred my skin looks. I'm a huge fan of this powder already. I'm just gonna find another brush that I can use my Chanel powder with. Um, once again, I'm just picking something that's flat this is the Chanel powder. I'm just going to tap that underneath the eyes like so. This is slightly darker compared to the Maybelline powder. So I'm just going to quickly pop that on. This once again gives the skin a really nice smooth appearance. It feels really smooth to the touch. I forgot to pop some on underneath um, 
my cheekbones for where I'm going to pop on the contour and then a little bit on my forehead just like so. And this is what the powders look like side by side. The only way you can tell them apart is that the Fit Me powder is slightly lighter than the Chanel. But texture wise, they are literally the same. They are very smoothing. They feel exactly the same. They're just beautiful on the skin. I am so impressed. I hope you guys don't mind, but I popped on my nose contour and also my highlight off camera. But I literally just wanted to come on and say that you know how much I adore both powders for the way that they make my skin look. They are so forgiving on textured skin and they just smooth out the skin so beautifully. But I know a lot of people would want to know how well this powder controls shine and oil. So I will report back at the 10 hour mark so you can see how both foundations or I should say both powders have worn um, in the 10 hours. So I will see you and chat to you in 10 hours. Hey guys, I am back and it's been a little over the 10 hour mark and this is what my skin looks like. And I have been staring at my face in a 10 times magnifying mirror, which can make any girl insecure. But I've been staring at that mirror just to see like if there is any difference between the two you know, powders and there is absolutely none. They look exactly the same. With that said, I've had a look at the ingredients of each of these powders and they are not the same. So I'm not claiming that the Maybelline powder is an exact dupe ingredient for ingredient of the Chanel powder. I'm just saying that they perform the same on my skin. So the Chanel powder is valued at 80 Australian dollars and it contains 30 grams of product. And then you have a product that performs exactly the same valued at $7.99 US and contains 20 grams of product. I would think that if this product was to be made available here in Australia, that it would be priced between 15 to 25 Australian dollars. And makeup is usually a little more steep here in Australia. So that's why I've, I've said $25. Most powders in the drugstore only contain six to 12 grams of powder or product in them. And if I'm only required to pay like $25 um, for a powder that performs just as well as a high-end powder, uh, there's like no need for me to purchase this Chanel powder ever again. Like I'm being serious. And that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you have any drugstore products that you would like me to find a dupe for, then please list them in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, then please hit that thumbs up button down below and please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with future videos. I love you and I look forward to seeing you all in a brand new video next week. Bye. Mwah.